Hi everyone, it's DC here, the 3rd of the 3rd, 21. And today we've got Autogen, Vibration of the Blotch Wall, experiment number one. Um, so uh, what I'm looking at is um, Hertzian, kilohertz, gigahertz, and up, um, and then higher and higher. Um, it'll be as high as I can get. Um, so we're trying to find the frequency for resonance and also pulse. So we're, I'm looking at a square wave pulse, first of all, and then I, I explore other waveforms. Um, so I'm struggling a little bit, a little bit to be honest, because um, I've got to find a decent um, function generator, and also I need an oscilloscope to analyse what the outputs are. Uh, but hopefully over the next month, um, I've got used to uh, owning one and <laughs> getting used to working um, an oscilloscope and um, a function generator. Uh, to be honest, I've never used one before, and um, I'm keen to learn. <laughs> so, um, today, um, what we're looking at, um, for those of you that are familiar with my work, we've got a, <clears throat> a neodymium block magnet, and um, we've got a coil at the end, which consists of some nails, uh, ordinary steel nails, wrapped with uh, some blue wire for a coil. And... Um, the setup, the actual setup, is a power supply at 18 volts, a pulse width modulator, um, um, I, uh, <laughs> my brain's gone, <laughs> a transformer which transforms um, to, uh, from 18 volts to 30,000 volts. And... Um, there's a, a, a wire probe which goes into the magnet and it's just a copper wire which is cut off and there's a spark inside the magnet which uh, pulses the, the, the magnet. The frequency that I'm working at at the moment, I ca and I can't control that much because the, the pulse width modulator is not that good, is about a three, uh, about, about, sorry, about 12 um, kilohertz as a pulse. And that's all I can work with at the moment until I get my function generator. Okay, um, so looking at the uh, spark, uh, the pulses um, pulsating out, what I'm after is trying to find the correct frequency or a resonant frequency which will actually bounce and vibrate the blotch wall in, in green. And that's where I'm going today. So a cross section of the magnet um, is with north and south pole here. This is the magnet here. And when the magnetic field goes round and back and round and back. And then so I'm pulsing the very, very heart of the, um, the magnet. And um, so today's experiment, it's experiment one. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm learning on the hoof with this. So uh, we'll have to just see how it goes. So over to the experiment on the bench. <clears throat> Switch it on. <clears throat> so we've got a power supply set up at uh, 18 volts. And um, it comes through this pulse width modulator. It goes through a car coil. And then um, the potential goes in, in here. So the, the pulses go into the magnet. Maybe I can just show you this because it's not switched on at the moment. <laughs> I've had one or two belts off there. So, so that's all it is. It's a, just an ordinary uh, copper wire. Um, and uh, that's all it is. A copper wire snipped off. And then the, the, there's a spark at the end. And I've got a little marker. If I can just get it in. There's a marker there that you can perhaps see. But when it's to that second marker, it's round about the centre of the magnet. Okay, so this is a connection here um, to, to this wire which is 30,000 volts. The meter reading today is from the, the coil and uh, from, I've got two open ends on the coil and it, to a ground which is a clean ground which is outside. So I'll switch it on. 
okay now this is just only showing voltage it doesn't show any ampage uh, right so we'll, we'll switch on here and nothing happening oh you have to press this little button here to the green light there we go now it's on uh, right okay so I'm switching it on here and turning it there so you can watch the voltage oh, so as you can see the voltage is going up and it sort of reaches a threshold and I think you should be able to hear the spark you can't you, you won't be able to see the spark but you can hear it now and we're, we're getting a higher voltage out now that's uh, 550 volts um, and I, obviously I can't check the amps just yet but um, with this controller here you'll hear the noise drop off in a minute as I drop drop the um, frequency so it's, it's interesting that uh, what's happening so I've switched it off um, there you go that's as far as I am at the moment um, I want to, to uh, put a function generator in here and um, review the information that comes out on an oscilloscope in case you were wondering this here, which is a bifler coil, I'm just looking at any um, gain in static um, potential here. So uh, that's just for show at the moment. But I'm, I will be looking for experimenting with the, the static um, that comes onto this coil. So that's about it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions? Great. Any help? Great. <laughs> Um, I really need to get this um, function generator and I really need to get the uh, oscilloscope to make more and better progress and then I can start logging everything properly. DC signing out. Bye.